We created a simple template already in an earlier tutorial. This time we're going to create a more complex template for the contact details on the site. The page I'm working on is contact.php and I've already added the perch runtime to this file. So you can see in the browser we've got contact details down here. And that's the bit that we're going to be working on. So we scroll down and we find the section with the contact details in. I'm going to copy out all of that. And we're going to create a template. Again, this has to go into content. And I name it contact.html. And paste in our markup to get started. So now we need to replace the hard coded content with perch template tags just like we did before. So here I'm going to take this out and we're going to add the company name here. So perch content. Now you can see that we've got the company name actually repeated twice. The first as the top part here where it says contact and company name in the heading. We've repeated it again. Now we can use a little trick here to save the content editor to having to add the company name twice. If we just take this perch tag that adds the company and paste it in here. Now this tag has got the exact same field as the one above and crucially it's got the same ID. And what happens in Perch is if you have a template and you repeat the ID, then Perch will only show that template tag once. It'll only create one field in the admin, but it'll output it as many times as you need to on the page when the template is rendered. So that's quite useful and it just saves the content editor having to create repetitive content. And now we've got the address. And so these essentially all are just single line text fields. I'm just copying in these tags so you can save watching me type. Now we've got this address too. Now as you probably know a lot of addresses don't have two lines so this ends up being really an optional field. So we've not set it to being required equals true. So this is another place where you'd want to use those conditional perch if tags. So we're only going to show this paragraph tag if we've got something filled in for address two and that saves us outputting an empty paragraph. So then we've got the town there and we'll grab the postcode. and the country there. And these are all fairly standard template tags for all of these things. So we've got the email down here. Now this is similar to the company name. We have the same thing repeated twice. We've got the email actually in the mail too and we've got the email on the page there as well. So we can do the same thing with this repeated ID. So we say perch content ID equals email make that required and then having done that if we just copy it and place it 
here. So then we've got that twice. But the editor will only need to add it the once. And then we finish off with a phone number. And that's it. We've now got a template. So we can go to contact.php and delete all of that content and add our perch region. Say contact, save that. And now we need to go into our browser and reload and the information has disappeared. go to pages see that contact has now appeared and it's got this new region of contact and if we click on that we should go straight through because we've only got the one region and let's select contact and here's our information you can see that we only have the company once And we've only got the email address once. We can save that. Go back to our page. And here is our address.